All right, we can also report tonight that Herschel Walker and incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock are headed to a December runoff in Georgia as neither candidate hit the 50 percent threshold to win outright. Now, this is a race that will likely determine Senate control. And ask yourself, how many Georgia voters still don't know all the details about Warnock's extreme record, past scandals like, you know, calling cops, uh, comparing them to thugs and gangsters, being accused of after a domestic dispute with his ex-wife of trying to use a car to run her over, ran over her foot. Uh, this is now time to expose all of it. Herschel Walker joins us. Uh, Herschel, I, I would imagine that you probably would have liked to have gotten a 51, uh, 50 percent plus one. But I also got to imagine you'd never thought you'd get into politics. Here you are in a runoff in one of the most significant races uh, this election season at, that will have a profound impact on this country. Well, it is, Sean, and I never thought that uh, I ever do this. But I think the Lord prepared me for a moment like this right here, because <clears throat> right now I know that uh, a vote for Herschel Walker is a vote that the Georgia people voices could be heard in Washington, D.C. Not only the people in Georgia, but America voices could, could be heard because a vote for Senator Warnock is going to have uh, Kamala Harris making the decision for them. And I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to fight. And I think people have seen me fight and uh, they're trying to buy this seat. They're going to do everything they can to buy this seat. So I'm going to need your help. Everyone out there help to say, hey, guys, we're not going to let them buy this seat. I want everyone to go to teamherschel.com because you've seen now that I'm going to fight. They're going to have to come through me to get to you, and I'm not going to let that happen. You know, I, I look at this background, and I, I wonder if, if people that just want a, a regular, steady, democratic you know, vote, a, a steady vote, and they look at Warnock as basically a rubber stamp. Because when you look at his record, you know, here you have a guy that wants to end cash bail, uh, legislative filibuster. Cops are, are compared to thugs and gangsters. You know, you look at the rest of his record. Do you want CRT in, in schools being taught? Uh, he's got a terrible track record. He ran a camp and there were allegations of child abuse. He, he was arrested for obstruction of justice. You know, praising Farrakhan, Jeremiah Wright, uh, Fidel Castro. Are people in Georgia aware of all of this? Because I think if they were, I lived in Georgia four years. That's not the Georgia that I know that would vote for people that think like that. Well, you said something earlier. The media is not my friend. The media is going to put my record out there. But yet I've been transparent with everything I've ever done. And he hasn't. But let's not just talk about that record. Let's talk about him as a senator. As a senator, he get an F. He has not spoken for the Georgia people. I think the people have seen who he, who he represents. He represents Joe Biden and the people there in Washington because he voted with them 96 percent of the time. And we don't need to keep saying that. Then I think the people can feel it. They can see it. And right now we're in a tiebreaker. And that's why I said I'm not giving this seat up because right now the Georgia people are hurting because of this inflation. The Georgia people are hurting because of crime on the street. Kids right now got men and women sports. All the different things that happened in less than two years since he's been in office. And I'm not going to let them continue to destroy Georgia or destroy this country. So I'm going to keep fighting. Right now we got uh, less than a month. And, uh, and I can put up with a month. Because right now this seat means is a lot bigger than Herschel Walker. And I know they're going to throw more at me, even the kitchen sink, but I can catch it. I'm going to catch it and keep moving forward. You know, I will tell you, I, I would argue that's probably true. I mean, it's it, it'll be as ugly as it can be. But you know what? Uh, they can say whatever they want about you because there's an awful lot on him and his positions and his statements over the years. Uh, I hope the people of Georgia get educated on all of this, because if they do, I believe you win hands down. Herschel Walker, congratulations. Well, Look forward to December the 6th, and uh, we'll be following this very closely. Thank you. All right, straight ahead, we'll have more Hannity right after this.